Greetings again, everyone. Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today, I'll be showing you how to ascribe a circle to a triangle. Now, when we ascribe a circle to a triangle, what we will get is that we will get the circle touching one side of the triangle. We will also get our circle to touch this, the, the extension of two sides, right? So AC was extended to get D, and the circle is also touching this line CD. AB was extended to get E, and the ascribed circle is also touching BE. I will now go ahead and border my paper. I will now draw a scaling triangle, A, B, C, where A, B is 80 millimeters, A, C is 90 millimeters, and B, C is 60 millimeters. So I will now draw my A, B line, which is the base of this triangle. I will now outline my 80 millimeters on this line and label it AB. I will now use my open my compass to 90 millimeters and put it at A and scribe an arc. I will now open my compass to 60, 60 millimeters and from B I will scribe an arc. Now where the two arcs intersect I will draw an, a line from the intersection of the arcs to A and from the intersection of the arcs to B. I will now outline my required triangle.
Now that I've outlined my required triangle, I will extend my line AB to get E. And line AC will be extended to get D. Now, I will now bisect angle DCB, which is from this line to this line. And I will also bisect angle EBC, which is from this line to this line. So I'll put my compass at B, open to a convenient radius. And scribe an arc from the CB line to the BE line. So from the CB line. To the BE line. I will do the same from C. Now, we're we're where this arc intersected the CB line and the CD line, I will use these two points as centers for my compass. I will open my compass just a little more and I will scribe arcs that will intersect from these two points. I will now draw a line from C through the intersection of these two arcs right here. I will now bisect my angle C, B, E. So I will use these two points, this point and this point as center for my compass and get some intersecting arcs. Now, where, where, this set, where this arc and this arc intersected each other, I will identify the point and draw a line from B through that intersection. Now, where this line and this line intersected each other, I will identify that point and that point will be the center of my compass. I will call that point O.
right? So O is the point where this line and this line intersected each other. All right, so you will open your compass from O to touch the side of the, the, the B, C line. Then what you will do is that you will now draw a circle that will touch this line, this line, and also this line. We now see that this circle was ascribed to touch this triangle. It is touching this side of the triangle and also touching the lines produced by extending the AB line and also the AC line. Now this method is used to ascribe a circle to any given triangle. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.